Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. I've got a full step-by-step -step guide tonight showing you how to fit a new timing belt kit on this Ford Ranger. Uh, this one's 2007 model, 2.5 TDCI. Uh, it's the same from about 2005 to 2011. Uh, it's also the same as the Mazda B25 to uh, 2500. Uh, obviously the cam belt situated at the front here. We'll run you through it all a step at a time. Uh, but just to start with, I'll just show you. We've got, uh, got a full timing belt kit here. It's got a new belt in it, tensioner, and the idler pulley as well. Uh, if you check the description below at any point throughout the video as well, I put links to, to all of the part numbers used, all the kits, where you can get them from, and any tools that we use as well. So, uh, But yeah, to start with, we don't need a ramp to do it. It's fairly straightforward, um, but we'll get the engine cover off and um and get into the video and just before we start if you haven't already subscribed to the channel if you wouldn't mind just uh, clicking the red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any future content all right so the first job we're going to do now just start getting some access to the cam belt we're just going to take this top cover off and to do that you've just simply got two 10 mils one in there little dome headed uh, nuts there we'll get them off and there's two tabs at the back so once we've got them off we can just pop that out Right, so now that we've got the top cover off, you can see the cam belt casing a bit better. So they're quite a straightforward cam belt to do these. They're only like an upper half cam belt. So now we're going to do is this is the main cover for it here. We've got the uh, this wiring loom across the front. You just want to pop that out. It's just in these little t little clips that just push into the casing. This one's been done before, so I can, it should come out a bit easier. That one's cable tied on there. I'm just going to get that back, and then we're just going to undo all these 10 mil bolts around the outside. I think there's about six of them in total. Uh, if you remember rightly, you just a nut. I think that's just a nut there on that one as well. So we'll just get them 10 mils out of the way now and we can get the uh, get a view of the cam belt. Right, so with the six bolts out of the way now, I've been able to get the timing cover off. You can just see the cam belt in there now. You see it just goes down to that pulley there. It's got the idler, the tensioner, and then your two cam pulleys as well. So, um, but what we're going to do now is just turn it around um, to put the timing in, to put it into the timing position. We'll just run you through that. I mean, what we're going to need to do is the, the bottom crank pulley just here. There's a rubber. Just try and show you. grommet can't quite get it on the camera but in the middle of that bottom pulley there's a rubber grommet we're just going to pull that out and then we can uh, i think it's a 24 mil nut the main crank bolt uh, so And we'll be able to turn it over um, and just line these timing marks up. These two, they, there are marks there, but they've actually been overmarked in orange in the past. Um, but so without them, you can just see there's a little indent in there. What we're going to do, these two marks line up evenly across the middle there. And then there's a mark on that pulley as well. But we'll just get that little bottom cap off, show you that and get a um, ratchet on it. And then we'll, uh, we'll turn it over and show you where you need to line it up correctly. So. Just to make it a bit easier to get that little bottom cover off, it just gives you loads of room, just makes the job a bit easier. We're going to actually take the viscous fan off, and all you need to do is to get these, I think they're 12 mils, holding the fan on here, there's four of them. So just going to crack all them off and just remove the viscous fan out of the way. So. So with the fan loose now, I'm just going to tuck it to the front there. It just allows a lot more room. It's just really tight to get in. We can get on that bottom pulley now with a flat screwdriver and just flick that uh, little rubber cap out the centre. Right, 
and you just see it's just like a protective cap on the bottom pulley there so pull that out of the way uh, and then we can get on it i think it's so uh, i'll just let you know in a minute what size nut it is now it's a bit bigger than i remember actually it's actually a 38 you got a 38 mil socket so and I'll put a link in the description below to these little shallow ones. You can do it without a shallow one, but they're quite handy bit of kit, really. We use them for um, a few oil filter caps as well. So uh, what we're going to do is put a long reach ratchet on that, and then that'll allow us to turn the engine over as well. So. You always got to be turning the engine clockwise. Right, so we've just started turning it over now. We've done the first bit where we've lined that up um, so that we know the cams are in line there, but the, the, this bottom pulley isn't at the minute. You need to get all of them in the same position. So it might take a few turns to get it right. And just try and show you a quick, we can just see in the mirror there, right in the center of the mirror, that's on the back of the um, that pulley there. There's a little noggin, and that's what we're gonna be looking to line up with the mark. So all we'll do now is keep turning it over and each time the cam's line um, matching up in the centre there, we'll recheck this mark. Um, and when it's in the correct place where it should sit, I'll just show you that so you can clearly see where it needs to line up against. But for now, we'll just turn it over, another revolution on the cam. Just to show you quickly at this point, we're now, you can see we're now out on the cams. But the actual proper light mark on the bottom pulley is lined up. And you can just see there, that's that little groove that I was trying to show you on the camera. And then there's a little mark, that line on the back casing. You can see that's lined up there. Now that's what we're looking to line up. So that needs to be lined up there. And then your two cams need to be lined up in the centre. So we'll just keep going again until we get all of them bang on. Right, so we've got it that time now. Just see these two centre pulleys. Um, just hold it straight on it there. You can see that we're nicely lined up against each other there. And then the lower pulley just there. If you come down to that one, you can just see, try to get it on the camera, that's perfectly lined up with that mark there. So that's the, that's the actual proper timing position. So now that we've done that, we'll start to get the timing belt off. And all we're going to do is just slacken the uh, tensioner bolt off here and then the bolt for the idler as well and get the cam belt off. Uh, I think you want to, I think they're a 14 mil, yeah 14 mil bolt again holding them on so. Just forgot to say as well when taking these off there is this little 10 mil there as well that's part of the tensioner so that wants to come out at the same time. Uh, so that's the old tensioner out of the way. Now that it's off, you can just see the back section of it. it. The front is the pulley, but the back bit is actually a little hydraulic um, tensioner there as well. That's why they're quite a dear kit on these. So. Um, but that all comes part of the new kit. So we'll run you through refitting that in a minute. We'll just get this idler pulley off first. Just get the belt off. When refitting all these, I'll just run you through the all the correct torque settings as well. Yeah, so just uh, we're just going to refit everything now. If you're not actually replacing the tension, you're just putting the belt on. All you'd want to do is just put an Allen key in there, and you can just take the tension off and pin it. Um, but the new one comes with a pin in position to hold it, and you can just see on the back um, the tensioner pin is fully in there as well. So. All we've got to do with this is simply just bolt it up, torque it up correctly. And um, once we've got the cam belt all in position, we're just going to pull this pin out. And it's just an automatic tensioner. So it just it's sprung loaded on the belt and you don't have to set it or anything. So, um, But running, we'll just bolt that up with the centre bolt and the little bolt there and put the idler on. Uh, and then I'll run you through um, just releasing that pin and getting the belt on. 
I did just forget to say actually, I'm just going to um, re just going to fit the tensioner first without fitting the idler. It's just on those. All I'm going to do is just fit it into place. And just lightly nip it up by hand because we'll talk it all once the belt's on. But you need to just put the tensioner on and the belt before you can put the idler pulley on. It's just because of this lip around the cam here. Um, if you've got the idler on as well, it makes it a bit tricky to get the the belt on. So I'll just put the tensioner on now and lightly nip both bolts in there. So now that, now that that's all uh, lightly nipped, I'm just going to uh, put the belt on now and um, I'll just route that round and then once that's in place we'll just put the uh, idler on as well. Just show you quick when fitting a new cam belt you just want to make sure you fit it. Sometimes we've got arrows on if it, ever, ever, hasn't, if it hasn't got arrows on you just want to fit it so that the right end reads the direction that the engine's turning over. So I'm going to fit this now and it's going to sit that way on the uh, on the pulleys there. We'll just loop that round and get the idler on. And so I'm fitting the belt on, just want to make sure that your pulleys stay still. Um, obviously you've got the marks to, to uh, make sure they stay in the right place. And when fitting the belt on, you just want to try and keep it tight around all the pulleys and then just leave the, the slackest bit for where it's going to go. Um, around the tensioner and obviously the tensioner will take the slack up. If it helps sometimes you might just start out, just because of this big lip gets in the way you might start to just slightly turn it back just to lock the grooves in and you can pull it back into position. And sometimes you don't have this lip on the cam pullers and you can slide the belt on together it just makes it a bit tricky without. Now that we've got it round, we can sort of um, just locate the idler pulley and bolt that up at the same time. So now that we've got that just started the bolt there, I'm just going to nip that up uh, just lightly to start with and then we'll torque them correctly. Just run you through the settings in a minute. Right. Just before talking them, just double check quick, just make sure your line's there, nice and even, straight across again. And then your, uh, your little pulley mark, just down the bottom there, see that's bang on in line as well. So now that we'll, uh, we're ready to torque them up, I'll just run you through the torque settings. We've got 50 newton meters for the idler, 50 newton meters for the main tensioner one here, and then 10 newton meters for the uh, little bolt there. So we're using a digital torque wrench. I'll put a link in the description below to a digital one where you can get one from. Uh, this is snap on one we're using today, but there's a few cheap ones you can get out there as well. Um, once we've talked it, we'll, uh, we'll then pull out this pin as well. So we'll just talk them first and then just show you um, releasing that. But at the minute, you just see there's a little bit of the slack is on this side of the belt here, and we're nice and taut across all the uh, the main cam pulleys and the uh, the bottom one there as well. So. Obviously, once we release this pin, I'll just take that slack out of the belt there. See what might work. So that's the idler and the tension of main bolts done. I'm just going to do that little 10 mil now. So it's only 10 newton meters that. It doesn't matter if you ain't got a torque wrench. I mean, it is nice to do them properly and I do like to do them torque and properly with cam belts, but um, it's a reasonable nip on the two center ones. And then your little 10 mil is quite a light, not, quite a light nip really. Uh, 10 newton meters is not a lot. Now, just to flick this, uh, flick the pin out, we're just going to use a flat screwdriver and just pry it out. So, and see as that popped down, I'll just put the tensioner on the belt now. It's now nice and taut. Next thing we're going to do, we're just going to get the um, 
ratchet and socket back on the crank pulley. And all we're gonna do now is just turn it over again and keep turning it and just make sure that when we get to the right turn again, that these two line up and the, uh, the bottom line down the bottom there is perfect as well. So let's line that up now. It's actually six full rotations of the crankshaft. So you don't have to do that. I mean, two full turns of it, you know that there's no contact there. But now that we've done that, see that they're lined up evenly. Bottom marks there, uh, lined up there as well perfectly. So it's absolutely spot on now. What we're going to do next is just bolt the um, viscous fan back up and then four bolts there. Uh, four nuts, sorry, want a bit of a nip. And um, once you've done that, you can strike it up without the cover on if you want, just to check it, but there's no need to. We're just gonna build it all back up now, and then we can just strike it up, just make sure it sounds all right. Um, and that's it, the cam belt's all done. So thought I'd share the video with you all. Quite a straightforward job on these. Um, so because they're only a top end, top belt, if the belt does actually snap for any reason, um, it does just break the rockers on these engines. So. Um, but yeah, hope the video helped. Give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll just leave the video recording while we build it quick, build it up quick, and uh, and get the job finished done.